So I know I tend to harp on you guys a lot for being meatheads and action junkies, always needing fighting. But allow me to deviate from that for, the, for this video. Because the truth is, I do love action. I just don't need it. It's not something I require to enjoy a narrative because I like shit like romance. But a genre and manga I've always enjoyed for years is the Yankee slash really delinquent manga genre. The reason I don't tend to enjoy it in comic book is because it always becomes gang warfare and gun violence and I don't really like guns. But I'm talking about mangas like Don't Go, uh, Clover, Sugarless, A Bout, Rookies, and I would personally put Bills Above into that category as well, even though it has a more supernatural demon element to it. And it's a crime and a damn shame I haven't done this video sooner, but allow me to fanboy about the one delinquent manga or delinquent manga franchise I think is the best out of the many I've read. Crows and Worst by Takahashi Hiroshi. Yeah, see, I ain't posing with the potion unless I wanna take a sip. Young pill, make up on my back, but do not call me slick. So emotional. You may have heard or maybe even watched the three, I think maybe now four, Crow Zero's live action movies. This is actually a prequel to the various manga I will be talking about. Takahashi Hidoshi has multiple manga that take place within the same universe, and I'll speak on all of it. But you need. To start with crows welcome to sudus in high school crows high a all boys school with nothing but punks outcasts and where delinquents attend in this manga there are tons of bad schools with varying power structures some schools are united under one boss some form alliances with other schools due to lacking manpower or number and needing to protect their turf from other schools and then there are some that are just unruly and ununified like our very own Siruzan high school enter the outsider sophomore boya haramichi one of my personal all-time favorite characters and main characters. He is a fantastic lead. He basically comes out of nowhere and throws the hierarchy of Crow's High into chaos with his overwhelming fighting prowess. And this would set off a chain of events in that town, including beef with rival gangs, schools, and even other cities. It's hype, my dude. Now, Worst takes place two years after Crows ends, and we follow Hana Tsukishima, who, like Boya, is an outsider. But his goal is to unify the unruly, never united Suruzen High School. He's not like Boya at all. He's actually a really nice, honest, genuine kid. But he's fucking strong and has a mean uppercut. I'm, ooh, that shit will put you on your ass. He enters as a freshman, making friends and allies all over with his positive attitude. Now, the Crow Zero movies and manga are the prequel to Crows and Worse, following the outsider senior Takiya Genji, the son of a Yakuza boss, who wants to become the boss of Suruzen. He's just a raw nigga, raw dude. He's he's about to smoke, he, he'll pick fights, he's just that kind of guy. He literally is the son of a Yakuza boss. Um, now, Crow Zero One is not written or drawn by Hiroshi. It's made by Naito Kenshiro and Muto Shogo. For Crow Zero's Two, Suruzen X Hosen, Hiromi writes the story, but the art is done by the mangaka of Clover, Hirakawa, Tetsuhiro. Now, that's kind of all I'm going to say about these various series because I don't want to spoil. I, I'll dive deeper into the various events, characters, and power scalings in other videos, but what I really want to touch upon are the things that I really love about these series, starting with the artistry. So Crows was published in 1990 and ran to about 98, I believe. So it's, you know, it's older. It's, it's got a more classic art style. Which is my preference because I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> I love my 80s and 90s aesthetics. So for me, it's great. But it is very clean. So don't get it twisted. It's not as poorly drawn. Just known it has a less contemporary art style. 
but it's very good. His art style evolves and progresses with time, and by two and by the year of two thousand and one, when he started worst. The art style became a little more modern, cleaner, more contemporary, and he improved his ability to convey action. One thing in particular I enjoy about Takahashi Hiromi is that he's very good at portraying impact and how much a punch or kick hurts. He also is elite at showing when a particular fighter is a cut above the rest. Most of these fights are very punkish, people tackling to the ground, punching and kicking, gang up, whatever gang up on what another whatever the case may be. But some of these niggas are so strong. When they hit so hard, it's like you took a, a smash attack in Smash Bros. The knockback is crazy. They fly backwards and they like roll when they hit the ground. These monsters can end fights with one hit. Now, these fights are amazing. Ranging from 1v1s, like manly one-on-ones, from jumping peoples in, gr in group, team fights, even school versus school, so prepare for ungodly hands. By now you guys know that I love good humor. I love to laugh. I like goofy shit. That's why shit like One Piece, uh, Jojo, even Kaneku Man will resonate with me very quickly because it's just insane over the top. But Crows and Worst? And Crow Zero are all hilarious. The humor is amazing. I like how he, he's able to maintain varying tones without giving you tone whiplash. Yes, some, some moments are intense and you need a little more seriousness to it. But when nothing is serious is happening, it has a more lighthearted tone. All the leads are morons and they do dumb funny shit all the time. Like steal bikes. <laughs> Bully people for rides. I remember when a character peed upstream, washed his hands downstream, and Boyle was like, bro, are you brain dead? That's nasty, don't touch me. <laughs> they also get mad at pretty boys and characters who are really good at getting girls because most of them cannot even get a single number. And the reason why it's so goddamn fun to watch and read is because it's very believable. The reason why it's the fun it's fun to see this happen because the brotherhood the camaraderie and the bond these guys have is is real it's organic their friendship were for their friendships were created through good history bad history hanging up with one another or through respect through strength and it's believable and now speaking of believability i like the realism yes boya and hannah are so strong they can fucking punch you out of your shoes literally but the fights are grounded in reality if you jump someone with numbers, you'll likely win. Weapons give you a huge advantage. If you sneak someone, they don't do shit like, Ugh, I can sense his killing intent. I'm in danger and dodge the attack when they can't fucking see it. And I love it for that. The manga oozes rawness and swag. These dudes can dress. The drip and the sauce is real. So I hope you guys give these manga a shot and enjoy these punks living out their adolescence in style. But before I go, let me talk about the various works from Hiroshi and the intended reading order. So first of all, I want you guys to know that I have not read literally every series by Takahashi Hiroshi. This is his universe, all the stuff he's worked on, some of the spinoffs, some of the books and data books, and the things that focus on Susan High School and stuff that I've been talking about. Which are the things that I like the most? I have read QP, QP Garden. QP is fine. If you want to read that, go ahead. But I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but here we go. So you need to start with Crows. Now, I know Crows up zero comes before crows in terms of like actual events but think of it as star wars four five six one two three you're not supposed to watch one two three first because think about think about it if you get the movie five emperor strikes back the scene where vader reveals that he's luke's father will not hit to you you're like why the fuck is this so intense i know this already i saw him become vader because your certain information is withheld and certain things are given to you because it has an intended viewing order so please start with crows you could, I think after that, you're free to start with Crows uh, zero, um, zero 01 and zero 02, Seduz and X Hosin, or you can watch the movies. The movies are very good. You can watch the movies if you want to as well. But um, yes, so if you want to know more about some of the characters and get more characterization for, the, for them, Crows Gaiden. And, and the next Crows supplementary story, I believe, will give you more of that stuff. I have not seen all of this. I remember a couple of chapters being translated when I was trying to read this, but... Yes, Crows Guided will give you more um, information and stuff. Now, Crows, the Aftermath, or Sonono Crows, I believe it's called, is the year gap 
between the end of Crows and Worst, because Worst is two years after this. So if you want to know about the in-between part, you want to read this before you start cr Worst. Now, you got, now you're on Worst, you read that, you're good. Then these two, Worst Gaiden, uh, Umehoshi Brothers and Worst Gaiden, will do what Crows Gaiden did for Crows. It'll just give you more information and tidbits on those characters. I have not read Katakiri again. Again, I'm not aware of what this is about, so if anyone knows in the comments, feel free to chime in. Have not, have not even found it. Saigyo no uh, Worst is the last worst. This takes place after Worst. And it's just about, I think it's just only two chapters just talking about what happened after Hannah Tsukishima left the school when he graduated as a senior. So after that, I say you should read the um, or watch the Crow's Zero stuff. And if you're interested in anything else, Crow's Ladies is a pretty fun, like, I guess parody <laughs> with superpowers and all the characters are gender flipped. So if you if you want that, you can check that out. Um, I don't mind QP. QP is cool. It takes place in the same universe, but it's not related to Suduzen and whatnot. And yeah, with uh, Crow's Zero now, I never I was never able to find this part one. But the movies, but 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 these manga are the adaptation of the movies. So you should be able to watch the movies and then you can read Suduzen X Hosen which is about uh, Takaya Genji and his fight against Suruzen's arch nemesis, Hosen, the Hitman Army. Hosen Killer Corpse. Tell me that's not a raw ass name. But anyways, if you guys uh, end up reading it and you like it, let me know what you guys thought about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm going to be out. Yeah. Sanaki, I go ghost. Soul and Martha cut your soul. Like Endeavor, I explode. Toradoki, I go cold. Posted up by my lonesome. Niggas at me when they want some. AKAR and they both dump it. Two hands and they both.